welcome to Pauline's place. I wonder if you can hear behind my voice a trickle of water. There's a little waterfall in this small suburban, very quaint and attractive garden. I'm in the home of a friend. I'm wearing a beanie because it's four degrees and for me that's cold. Well, I wanted to say hi and share with you where I am. So I'm in Nelson, New Zealand and I'm staying with a good friend. And I carry a book with me that I wanted to talk about. It's, this is the book. I'll show you the cover later. It's called Creed to Love and Live By. And it was given to me by a much older citizen than I was at the time in about 1983 when Stan and I were living in Perth. And she added her own particular creed. She pasted it inside that she thought I needed. And it was called uh, Slow Me Down, Lord, or something like that. Hey, at the time, I thought, oh, another slow me down poem that I need to read. But actually, I'm much older now, and that slow me down, Lord, prayer makes a lot more sense. I wonder how you're doing, whether you think you need hurrying up or whether you think your life needs slowing down. It's interesting, isn't it? How our situation is never perfect and we always wish for something different. Well, I wanted to share with you a creed. I read one just about every day. Sometimes I share them with my friends. Other times it's just for me. But this one, it's written by Chauncey Depew. I don't know who he is, but this is something he wrote as a creed for his life when he was 93. And I want to just read to you a little bit. It says, let us never lose our faith in human nature, no matter how often we may be deceived. Do not let such deceptions destroy confidence in the real, honest, goodness, generosity, humanity and friendship that exist in the world. I think we've all experienced the goodness of people, but sometimes one little thing or one experience seems to overshadow that. You mustn't give up on that, the goodness of humanity and believing in it because that's what keeps you alive and not just existing, but living. So think of someone you love and for whom you mean a lot and for whom you've done maybe spontaneous kindnesses or that person's done them for you. I'm staying in the home of someone like that. Her name's Margaret and she's not 93, but she's really alive and active in her mid eighties. And she has a buoyant spirit and she naturally keeps believing that the day is going to bring her better things than yesterday. And she wants to give better things than yesterday. She has some disabilities with her eyes, but not with her spirit. Well, I, I wanted to share this with you because I'm interested in your spirit and I care about it. I know what it means sometimes to feel like you're just a wounded spirit but don't let it outweigh the wonderful things of humanity around you. Go find them. Maybe this time in the rest of this day that you have. Well, I say hello from Margaret and Pauline here in Nelson. And we hope Pauline's place can speak to your spirit. See you again soon.